Hello and welcome to the Stotts Ross Maths key skill video on determining a probability from a given sample space. Now let's just read the question first. Lucinda throws a four sided and a six sided dice and adds the values. The sample space diagram shows the possible outcomes. Now what a sample space diagram is, as we saw in a previous video, is that it shows us all the outcomes either from one thing or we've got two different things that we're doing. So in this case, this is the six sided dice and these are the outcomes from the four sided dice. It shows us all the combined outcomes because it says we're adding the values. So for example, if we got a three on one dice and we got a two on the other dice, you can see we add them together to get five. So this sample space diagram shows you all those combined possible outcomes we might get. And we want to find the probability Lucinda gets a total that is at least seven. Now, using this diagram, how many total possibilities are there? Well, if there were six possible outcomes from one dice and four possible outcomes from the other dice, you can actually times those numbers together how many outcomes you have of each to get the total number of possibilities. If you do six times four, that's 24. And indeed, if you count these numbers, all the numbers in the table, excluding the header labels and the column labels, you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, etc. you'll get 24 different possible outcomes here. Now we wanna find the probability that we get at least seven. So out of these 24 possible outcomes, how many do we get a combined total? So this number plus this number, how many have a combined total of at least seven? Well, here we get a total of at least seven because that's three on one dice and four on the other dice. We could get a seven here, a seven here, a seven here. Now eight is at least seven, isn't it? It's more than seven. So these are possible as well. That's where we got a six on one dice and a two on the other dice. We've also got these nines, we've got the 10. Now let's count how many possibilities there are. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So out of the 24 possible combined outcomes, 10 of those, you get a total of at least seven. So the answer is 10 out of 24. And we could simplify that, just divide top and bottom by two to get five out of 12. And that's the final answer.